Hi, I'm Katie Campbell and I'm a tutor for Core Elements Training. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate range of movement at the ankle joint. This is one of the testing methods covered on our Level 4 Sports Massage Diploma. So when we assess a joint, we always assess from the good side to the bad side. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to be just testing, and I'll show you the demonstration on the right leg. For the active dorsiflexion, we can ask the client to perform them both together. So if you'd like to point both your toes up to you, we can see here that they're both even, but potentially one may have less range of movement than the other, or it may be painful. So you can relax this leg and you can now relax this one. So we're gonna demonstrate passive and resisted on this leg. We're gonna ask the client to actively bring their dorsiflexion to the end of their active range. Cut the calcaneus, use your forearm on the bottom of their foot, ask the client to relax, and then you're just going to not bounce the joint, but just stretch the posterior lower leg there. And you're feeling for a nice soft end range. And of course, ask the client for feedback. If there's any pain, make sure you mark it down on your notes. You would then perform that on the bad side or the injured side. Ask for resisted, we're gonna ask the client to actively dorsiflex again. Then again, you repeat the passive. So you're just gonna take it into the end of range. And this is where you ask your client to resist your tension. So you're gonna ask them to just push against your arm, but to match the resistance. We don't want them to push your arm away or to come too far out of dorsiflexion. And relax. And we ask them to contract for about three seconds. You're feeling for the control and whether they can hold that range of movement or if it's very vulnerable. So that is the active passive resisted dorsiflexion. Remember just to cut the calcaneus and you're using your forearm for them to push against you or you're using their foot then as a lever to just passively stretch the joint. For plant deflection, again, actively, we can ask the client to do it both together. It's very visual then, we can see the range of movement. So if you'd like to passively point your toes out and then you can relax. So we're going to demonstrate passive on this side. So again, just point your toes down. It's very important to make sure that we have our hands um, very close to the joint line. And again, you're gonna ask the client to relax and then you're just going to see if you can take it slightly further and relax. So you're feeling for a nice soft end of range. And also just be careful because of the lateral and the medial malleoli and also you've got the ligaments there, you've got a lot of soft tissue and your hands may be a little bit bony. So just be careful of how you're pinching and you're using, you're, you're grasping with the palm of your hand rather than your fingers. So that was passive uh, plantar flexion. Now for resisted, exactly the same. So it does get a little bit repetitive, but if you could just point your foot down actively, then relax, we take it into a passive movement. And then we ask the client to just match resistance and try and bring their toes back up to them. That's it, match the resistance and relax. If you weren't quite ready or they used a lot of their force and they came straight out of that movement, feel free to ask them to perform the movement again. So you can ask them to point their toes again, make sure your hands are in position. You want to be as close to the joint line as possible. So that was active, passive, resisted plantar flexion. Now for inversion, this is where we invert the feet. So again, actively, we can ask the client to just invert both feet. So pop the bottoms of your feet together, like you're gonna face them together, good. And you can visually see, and you can also measure with the gyneometer if you wanted to. Okay, and then relax. And again, close the joint line. So actively ask your client to invert the foot. And this is where, if there's any potential ligament damage, you wanna have to be very careful where you place your thumbs and your, the bony parts of your hands. So again, close the joint as possible, just gently stress there and always asking for feedback after every movement, is it painful? And you can write down your notes. And it's the same principle for resisted. So pop the foot in, we ask the client to relax. We just take it a little bit further and then we ask the client just to bring their foot back out to the starting position. Good, just hold for three seconds or so and then relax. We're just seeing if the, if the client can control that movement. 
Don't be afraid that if you weren't quite sure, weren't ready, you can always ask the client to perform the movement again. Or if they're unsure of the movement, if you guide them through to show them what they want, sometimes it works a little bit easier, they can understand better. So for E version, it's when you don't get too much movement, so don't worry, we're going to bring the feet, the bottoms of the feet outwards. And again, you can ask the client to bring both their toes and bottoms of their feet out as much as they can. And again, you can visually see the angles of the feet in relation to the lower leg. So relax your feet and then bring this one out for me. Again, get nice and low, still thinking about your posture, close to the joint line, grasping with your palm of your hand around the top of the foot there and gently just either further. Again, checking with the client, it's okay. And if they do say it is painful, just make sure you're going to ask where it's painful. Is it the pressure where you're pressing or is it the actual movement? So you might need to, maybe if you bring your foot out again, it may be it's too sore on the top of the foot and you're just going to slightly stress it from under potentially. And then resisted passively again, so active first, then passive as long as the hand position's okay, they can try and bring their foot back into the neutral, back into the start position. Just hold it and let them relax. Okay, so just to recap, we have gone through dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, inversion, and eversion. Just a couple of points. Make sure you cup your cal the calcaneus with your arm using their foot against your forearm. And your hand shouldn't be above the knee or on the knee. Just leave it to the lower leg and then you can use your arm and their foot as a lever for the passive and resisted. For the tibio tailor joint, we want to stay nice and close to it. So make sure your hands are close to that joint as you passively and resist inversion, eversion and plantar flex. That was range of movement at the ankle joint. If you'd like to find out more about our level four diploma, then please visit www.coreelements.uk.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.